For the first week, it's AppCake. AppCake allows you to download paid apps and games for free uh, without the need of vShare or IP Store, which are very slow. And this one is very fast and it's very fluid. So you can download any paid apps and games for free. So let's go ahead and search for a game here. I'm going to search for Limbo. And as you can see, by going to Limbo, I have option to download it or to torrent download it, which will even be faster, or to check it on the App Store or to share it. So if I tap on Torrent Download, as you can see, it says Torrent Limbo is already exists because I already have it here and the torrent. So if I go to Download section, as you can see, I have it downloading here. And once it's done, it's going to go into the Imported tab and it's going to install on my iPhone. All right, so it has high speeds and it's very nice and you can pose it and resume it whenever you want so AppCake is very nice All right, the next week is iFile. Now, iFile is a very famous file manager that is used to uh, get control inside your device and the files that are inside your device so nothing big here it's working on iOS 8.3 and that's lucky enough because many people download iFile it's essential because you really need it when Joe broke in and it's very nice that it works on iOS 8.3 Alright, the next week is Byte Phone 2, and this allows you to change the font of your phone. And if you can notice here, I've changed the, note, the font to San Francisco font, which is found on iOS 9 beta. So as you can see here, it looks a little bit different than usual. And as you can take a look, um, I don't know if you can tell, but as you can see, it's a little bit changed. So it gives a fresh look to your operating system, and it works on iOS 8.3 perfectly. That's by the phone too. Alright, the next week is Movie Box. Now, Movie Box allows you to download movies and view them on your device uh, for free. So it's really nice. It has all the latest movies like Mad Max. You've got uh, three qualities like low, medium, and high. And it varies in size and you can watch now or download it. So it's very nice, Movie Box. So you can check that out. And the brother of Movie Box is Music Box. Now, Music Box is very nice for downloading songs and uh, has a, a, a very huge library of songs. And it also have uh, its own music library. So, a magnificent speed. So, let's go ahead and try to download a movie, a song right here. If I go and click Burn, as you can see, I find here. And it will ask me to preview or to download. If I click on Download. I have it downloading right here and it has nice download speeds. So this is music box and it's very nice. Alright, the next week is iOS Terminal, which is previously known as Mobile Terminal, but it's named as iOS Terminal now. And if you don't know what this is or what it does, it's a terminal for your mobile phone. So don't play with it, just it's for the experts and it works on iOS 8.3 perfectly. Alright, the next week is PPSSPP which allows you to play PSP games on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And this is so different from the one found on non-jailbroken devices because it's very fast and fluid, and the game doesn't lag as on a non-jailbroken device. And it's very nice. This game used to lag on the non-jailbroken PPSSPP, but it's very nice here. And as you can see... So, yep, yeah, it's working, and uh, that's PPSSPP. You can find it from uh, the PPSSP repo that I'll be leaving down below in the description. Alright, the next tweak is Battery Life. Battery Life gives you information about Battery Life. Nothing special, but it's very nice to know the charger current, the charging state, the uh, temperature, cycles, capacity, and also know some stuff about your runtime. So it's a very nice tweak to have, and it works on iOS 8.3. Alright, the next tweak is Wi-Fi passwords. Now, I'm not going to be able to open this for you because it will reveal my password, uh, my Wi-Fi password. Uh, maybe I can hide it. Well, let's see. Alright. So, basically, this will show you the passwords of uh, previously entered Wi-Fi. So it doesn't hack Wi-Fi, of course, but it shows you the passwords of the uh, Wi-Fi connections that you have logged in before on the device. And if you restore your device, it's going to be erased. So yeah, it has all the passwords saved. If you forgot a password, it has it all saved in one place, and it works on iOS 8.3. All right. So the final tweak actually is not a tweak that you can. Uh, 
show on the springboard it's open ssh now this is a plugin that is downloaded on your jailbroken iphone and it allows you to share stuff using ssh this one right here and this allows you to share stuff using ssh so maybe basically if you have an ssh client on your laptop or your mac it's like cyberduck maybe you can share through the internet using uh open SSH and you cannot do that on non-jail broken devices so it's a very nice tweak to have. Alright thanks guys for watching this video if this did help and you found some new tweaks uh, to play with until Taiji fixes the uh, Cydia substrate problem then uh, subscribe for more and hit that like button subscribe for more jailbreak videos of course that I'll be doing uh, a lot now so yeah thanks guys for watching this video and I'll catch you all in the next one